is just around the corner and will be held on March 7th. Flyers will, with all the details, are posted around the school. Sophomore study session, Tuesday the 17th from 2.20 to 3.30 p.m. Tutors and hot chocolate will be included. Freshman final exam study sessions on Monday, December 16th from 2.30 to 3.30 in the main cafeteria. Teachers from core c content areas will be available to help. Key Club and Wildcat Care Club will be collecting items throughout the school day starting January 7th. Look for boxes labeled Guardian Angel Toiletry Drive around the school to donate your items. Items that can be donated are shampoo and conditioner, body wash, toothpaste, toothbrush, deodorant, lotion, chapstick, hairbrush, hair ties, and face wash. ASL Club will be hosting the annual holiday party Monday, December 16th after school in K420. Bring a sweet treat or salty treat to share and come join us for some fun. Why does a chicken only say one thing? Because it can't think outside of the box? Why did the snowman dig through the carrots? Because he was picking his nose. Happy Friday, Wildcats. Welcome back to another Fielder Friday Sports Report. Uh, it's been a while since we've had the last one as the Athletes of the Week haven't been announced for a couple of weeks due to the Thanksgiving holiday uh, and the fact that there was some downtime for sports, especially girls, it's a whole thing. But now we're back into the swing of things, uh, doing a little bit of catch up with the Athletes of the Week. So for the week of November 18th, our Athlete of the Week, just boys as girls sports had not started during this week, was Caden Baker for boys bowling. Uh, Caden led the team in scoring every match and tournament held that week. He performed great at the Lake Park Invite with a score of 1,124 for an average of 187 for the day. Congratulations to Caden. For the week of November 25th, Shania Davison with Girls Wrestling was selected as our Female Athlete of the Week. Uh, she wins 6-1 with all of her wins earning bonus points for the team, 3 pins, 1 tech fall, and 2 major victories. She also took 5th place in the Manuka Girls Thanksgiving Tournament, so congratulations to Shania. Uh, also for that week, Anthony Minito for Boys Wrestling was selected as our Male Athlete of the Week. Uh, he went 9-1, including a third-place finish in the more Pretty Men tournament. Of the nine wins, seven came by pin. He pinned the fourth and tenth ranked wrestlers in the state. He did all this wrestling up in the 285-pound weight class when he normally wrestles at the 215-pound class, so big congratulations to both Shania and Anthony. As always, if you have any of them in class or you know them, make sure to congratulate them on their accomplishments. That's going to do it for this Fielder Friday Sports Report. Have a great weekend, everybody, and good luck with finals next week. You're as cold as ice. You're willing to sacrifice all Happy Friday, everybody. You know, it's ironic after our uh, brief interlude of Arda Gear we just had. The 6 to 10 day, and I have the 8 to 14 day forecast behind me here. You know, a big part of the country here from here in West is like well above normal temperatures. You know, so what that says to me, probably no more big cold snaps on the way in the near future. And also, for your convenience, I also have, yeah, this would be the precip outlook. And you know, we're somewhat drier than normal too, so in case if you're wondering about a white Christmas, I doubt it. I seriously doubt it. Maybe next year. Anyway, good luck on finals, everybody. Happy holidays. Cake isn't gonna make itself. You guys must have your heads unscrewed by my Christmas slides over there. Now that ain't the true me to Krampus. Ahem, it's Nikolai. I'm homeless because of you. Nikolai is homeless because of you. 